Welcome viewers to another exciting instalment in the Scotsman of Tenerife YouTube channels. I'm outside the Optimist Apartments. A lot of people have asked me to go in there and show them. I'm going to be honest with you, I couldn't find my way in. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Let's take a wee wonder. Across the road is the Hotel Volcano. Wait to tell you about something in there. Lovely hotel. Really nice. Hiya. Um, across the road, we've got the Central Centre. That's more like a business hotel. Like, I like the rooms in there. I've stayed in there before. Location wise, it's okay. It's always one of the more affordable ones in Las Americas. And just up here, keep walking up. You come to the Tigatan Friends and Lovers. Walk around the corner at the end of the road, you'll come to the Columbus Apartments, the Chieftain, Paddy O'Kelly's. A lot of good bars and hotels around there as well. Let's take a wee walk. Wait to tell you about this. This is bizarre. And I think it's really bad marketing and business. Couldn't believe it. It's actually true. At the time of filming, it might not be true. Um, we'll see. So if I'm wrong, I apologise. But at the moment, as it stands, I'm correct. So, I just walked into the Volcano Hotel because I'm inquiring about prices for a family holiday. Let me know in the comments, have you stayed in the Volcano? I've met so many viewers that have stayed in this hotel and they love it. They say the food's fantastic, the rooms are okay, swimming pool's nice and they've got the wee up terrace. A lot of people upgrade to the up terrace in here. Look, just like the one they've got in their own Grand Island. Don't know if it's better or not, who knows. So it's a lovely hotel. I've done walkthroughs, check it out on the channel, hotels playlist. Really, really nice hotel. A few hotels around about here, we've got the Beta Cora and the best Tenerife just down there as well. But the Volcano is just a nice hotel. Very impressive lobby and reception when you go in there. And when you check in, you get a wee glass of cava. How nice is that? I went in there inquiring about prices. I didn't go off with a glass of cava, I'm afraid. <laughs> I've got some bad news. Um, so, yeah, so looking at pricing up the Hotel Volcano for maybe seven or eight people. So, I need four rooms. Now, let me know if this is true. It seems unbelievable. You can only book one room per booking. So, my dad was online and he was looking at the website and he says, It won't let me book four rooms, you have to book them individually. I thought that is just surely not true. So, because I'm in Tenerife, he says, can you pop in to that hotel and get a price for rooms, for four rooms? Because if they just let you book it, then we'll just book it directly through the hotel. It's a lot easier just doing one payment and messing about with four bookings. So I'm into the hotel and sure enough, it's the same policy. <laughs> you only book one room at a time. What's that all about? I mean, I'm sure they're not losing any business over it, but it's a very strange business decision. People like convenience, people are lazy. So, if they're looking at a price for a the hotel they like, they want to book it there and then. Don't give them buyer's remorse. You basically want to get them booked up there and then. So let's say they're thinking, oh, how do we get this four rooms booked? We need to phone the hotel, what's happening? So then they'll, they'll maybe think, look at another hotel. Maybe easier to book. So, Spring Hotels, if you're watching, and you should be watching this channel, Spring Hotels, um, there's a wee tip for you. Let people book more than one room. The Volcano, from every account I've got, is a wonderful hotel. People want to book more than one room at a time. If you're coming with a family or maybe a group of friends, make it easy to book. <laughs> what do you think, viewers? Anyway, just a wee light-hearted one today. Great location, the Volcano, I like it. You're just right next to the Safari Centre and the Parc de la Paz strip of bars, which I'm just going to show you just in a wee second. There's the Melrose Steakhouse. There's quite a few restaurants down here as well. Let's take a wee wonder. I'm going to go in to one of the bars in the Parc de la Paz strip and say, can you get me the St Mum Hibs game on? I might be struggling. There's a lot of football on today and there's rugby. So down there, we've got the Four Seasons, got Deli Delights. I've done a few walks there. That wee pathway, the wee white pathway, takes you through the back of the safari centre, so if you're looking for some nice restaurants, head down there. The part of the past strip won't be busy during the day, I don't think. It's getting busy here, no doubting. I've done a walk through here the other night. Wasn't too busy, but busy enough, not too busy, but everywhere was open, I think. 
that takes you down to the promenade. There you can see the Mary Nostrum Resort, Mediterranean Palace, no sign of life yet, that one. A few people asked me about it. So, good location, five minute walk to the, the beach in the promenade. Now, I said it wasn't busy, but I've already spotted quite a few people, people sitting outside the Highlander. Give me a second, I'm trying to stabilise the phone a wee bit, apologies. These guys enjoying their skateboarding. So these pubs at night are really busy. I spoke to somebody last night who was in here and they said that all the pubs by about nine o'clock were full. So they had to come early to get a seat. I passed it on a Thursday night and it wasn't that busy. You could have got in anywhere. But they're normally very busy. They're normally very busy pubs. Are you doing all right? Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, that's alright. I was sitting at the very end of her, a couple of them were sitting in the door, came feed, Hamilton. Right? Boy, he was an idiot. And everybody was walking by and that. As if to see what's going on. <laughs> Why came down with life? Excuse me, do you speak English? And I says, no, I understand it, but I don't speak it. Yeah. Uh, he says, it seems to be very packed. Pretty busy? I says, I. If you get good service in a place in Scotland, Aye. you get this. I says, in England, I says, in Scotland they don't serve half pints of beer, so you'll not get anything in here. <laughs> where, are you, where are you from? Bannockburn. Bannockburn? Aye. Okay. What about yourself? Historic place, Bannockburn. Oh, yes. I'm originally from Paisley. Oh, Paisley, Paisley Pirates. Yes. A Paisley. Ice hockey. Are oh, you ice hockey fan? No, no, no. I was a football man. Football man. I'm a St. Bun fan. Eh? Are you a Stirling fan? So, you're St Mum? <laughs> yes. Well, you're too young to remember Tommy Leishman. I'm too wrong, young to remember him, I'm afraid so. He won the Scottish Cup badge with St Mum. All right, OK. And he went to Liverpool under Joe Steen. Right. No Joe Steen. Um, Bill Shackley? Aye. Aye. And he won the championship there. Right. And he came back, played for him under Joe Steen. He went to Linfield as player manager and took him to the quarter final. Oh, he did a good he did a good career then. So oh, aye. That's good. And he came back. I think he money up. When he retired, I played for the Rose. All oh, right, did you? Aye. Oh, he must have been a good player. I got a try with Burnley, but it didn't work out. Seems like you were only supposed to kick them. Oh no! I know. What's your name, sorry? Robert Strachan. Okay, Robert Strachan. A pleasure meeting you. Yeah. That's about on YouTube. This wee video. Oh. Okay, check oh. out Scotsman in Tenerife on YouTube. Aye. You'll see yourself there. I went to Australia and played there, and then I went to New Zealand and played there. All oh, right, oh, you had a good wee career. Aye. That's it. Well, pleasure meeting you, Robert. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. All, all the best. Good. Okay. Good. good Take care. Well. There we go, viewers. Meeting a fellow Scotsman from Barnetburn. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Pleasure meeting you, Robert, if you ever watch this on YouTube. So we've got Highland Paddy. And the Highlander, I don't know what games are on there, I'm going to go in and see, but it's really busy, but quite a lot of people in there. As you can tell, Daz, if you're watching, it's taps off weather, it's pretty warm here. So we've got the Soul Suite over here, this will be really busy later on, one of the busier pubs. Hole in the Wall, busy later on as well, not really busy during the day. I'm surprised it's even open during the day, but there's people in. The Bull's Head. One of the best bands in Tenerife playing there, the Vagabonds. There's a few other bands that play in there. Again, these bars don't open till later on at night. So I'm showing you it during the day, but you can see how busy the Highlander is. I think they've got the rugby on, so I think I'm going to be struggling to see the football. But we'll see. And here's a wee bar you should visit later on. I think they're just opening for karaoke. Frankie's bar. So go in there and see Susie. And we've got Coconut Joe's right next to it. Oh, 7pm it opens actually. Frankie's bar. Karaoke. Usually at 10 o'clock we've got entertainment on the react as well. So thanks for watching. Great to meet you Robert. If you're new to the channel, hit the wee red button there, say subscribe. It's absolutely free. And check out all the other videos I've got in Tenerife. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.